In this task, I'm going to geocode some data. My organization has a common delimited text file with addresses for all of Baltimore's dialysis centers. I will geocode these so I can put the dialysis center points on the map. So here I have QGIS desktop open as I left it at the end of task two. I've gone ahead and added the streets layer and the CSV file. You can geocode with QGIS using the plugin named MMQGIS. To install the plugin, click on the plugins menu and choose manage and install plugins. I'll click on the all tab and type MMQGIS into the search bar. To install it, I just select the plugin and click install plugin. MMQGIS has many useful tools. For geocoding, I'll use the tools found in MMQGIS Geocode. There are two tools here, Geocode CSV with Google or OpenStreetMap and Geocode from StreetLayer. The first allows you to geocode a table of addresses using either the Google Maps API or the OpenStreetMap API. This tool requires an internet connection, but no local street network data. The web services provide the street network. The second tool uses a local street network data set with address range attributes to geocode the address data. I'm going to use the geocode from street layer option. For the input CSV file, I'll click browse and select the Baltimore Dialysis Center CSV. It's in the lab three data folder. I'll identify the street name field and the number field using the drop downs. I'll identify the loaded street layer, street CL, as street layer. The street name attribute is FE name. Then I'll populate the left from number, the left to number, the right from number, and the right to number. I'll browse to my lab data folder and name the output shapefile Dialysis Centers. I'll also browse to my lab data folder and name the not found output list Dialysis Centers Not Found. This option will save a CSV file with information on any records not matched. Once I have everything set, I'll click OK to run. The operation will take a minute or two to complete. A status message in the lower left corner will inform you of the status of the operation. When complete, I'll see the results in the lower left corner of QGIS, and the shapefile will appear in the Layers panel. In this case, 21 out of 22 records match, which is a pretty good success rate. I'll open the Dialysis Center's Not Found CSV. It has the one record that didn't match. We won't deal with this one record for this lab. However, knowing which ones did not find matches will allow you to try and troubleshoot them later on. For now, I'll close the table. I'll remove both the Baltimore Dialysis Center's table and the Dialysis Center's not found table. Now that the centers have been mapped, these are no longer needed. I'll style the Dialysis Center's with yellow stars. Next, I'll label the layer. To do this, I'll switch to the Labels tab. I'll choose Show Labels for this layer, and I'll use the drop-down for Label With to choose the Name column. I'll set the text font size at 6.25. Under Formatting, I'll enter a space as the wrap-on character. This will put a carriage return in after each space in the name. Under Buffer, 
I'll check draw text buffer and I'll keep the size at one. This produces a halo around the label. Under placement, I'll enter a distance of two. With all of this set, I'll click OK to close layer properties. Finally, I'll turn off all layers except the neighborhood diabetes and dialysis centers. By bringing all these data together, you can now begin to visually analyze the data and look for spatial trends. A picture is truly worth a thousand words.